Local coverage you can count on continues with Josh Ahan Sports Report. Sports coverage you can count on. From the Summit City to the Summit of Soccer Lore to Marcus Beasley, officially one of the best to ever play the beautiful game here in the U.S. after being inducted to the National Soccer Hall of Fame just about an hour ago. Now, at the top of the hour, our man Glenn Marini caught up with the man himself, DeMarcus. Now, in case you need a reminder on why DeMarcus is standing here today, here's a little refresher for you. DeMarcus, the only U.S. men's national team player to appear in four FIFA World Cups, along with that 126 appearances on the international stage. Now, when we talked with DeMarcus earlier today, he didn't point to his appearances, his goals, his wins. He pointed to the fact that he was able to celebrate his long soccer career with his biggest teammates, and by that, we mean his family. For me, it's, it's all about the ride and the, and the, the journey that I've been on. And I think for me, it's, it's even more special that, I mean, I'm 20, we're, we're 25 deep here, you know, from the family and, and pretty much 95% of them, everyone's from Fort Wayne. So yeah. we brought off, they, they, don't, they don't live in Fort Wayne now, but <laughs> we're all from Fort Wayne. So I think for me, that moment and that, that's a little more special for me and, and just picking out one moment is that this whole journey, this whole ride, I've been able to do that with my family. Well, as the saying goes, it takes a village to raise a child, and that cliche certainly applying to DeMarcus and his soccer career. Now, DeMarcus' father, Henry, he's the man who quite literally got the ball rolling. Henry introducing DeMarcus and his older brother, Jamar, to the beautiful game, and today it was Henry who presented the Hall of Fame jacket to DeMarcus. I think that if kids would follow in the footsteps of the players, doing the things that they do, you know, learn, learn from them. Because it took hard work. It wasn't just, you know, they were all of a sudden a soccer player. It took work, it took hard work, you know. It took some trials and some tribulations, you know. And sometimes it wasn't always good, but they, they persevered, they stayed there, and they did it, and wow, it's just unbelievable. Well, joining Beasley in the Hall of Fame class is quite the loaded group. That includes another fellow Hoosier in Indianapolis native Lauren Cheney Holiday. Joining the Hall of Fame, she is a World Cup winner from 2015 on the women's side. Meanwhile, DeMarcus' longtime teammate, Landon Donovan, uh, you might recognize him as one of the best to ever play on the men's side. He is also a part of this induction class on Saturday. Both Beasley and Donovan going pro at a very young age with their soccer careers a near mirror of one another. And Donovan and Cheney both having high praise for Beasley on Saturday. We started in the days where you didn't have a building like this or a stadium like that or, a, or Major League Soccer. And every step along the way, we've been side by side. Um, we've certainly veered different directions as it's gone on, but to end up here together is perfect. And it's funny how it all happened when we both officially retired and how, how we kind of weaved our way here, but now we're here and I'm so proud uh, to be here next to him. Yeah, and I've known DeMarcus as long as like DeMarcus was on the map. Uh, I think my mom actually has a picture that she's putting up uh, of me when I was maybe 10 with a picture of DeMarcus um, because he was just so well known in, in the state and he was already blazing the trail uh, for soccer players.